Oh, hello everybody, PlayStation 5! Alright, now this is something that gets me a little hard, okay? I'm just gonna be honest with you. Now, let's get all the memes aside, okay? We know PlayStation 5. <laughs> it looks like a router there, Muda! <laughs> Well, Muda, it's only- you have to buy either a fridge or a router. Listen, I'm just gonna be happy that it doesn't look like the fucking PS3 Panini Press. The only downside that I've had with this design is that they didn't release the Boomerang controller. I would kill for a Boomerang controller. If they brought the Boomerang controller, I would legitimately- I, I'm not even gonna say that. I don't know what Sony's up to. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna bet a nut on that one, but you get the point. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all things aside, the design looks pretty damn cool. Looks almost cyberpunkish. I don't know how it's gonna fit in my living room but you know it is what it is the system looks pretty damn good and both systems look great i mean it's all designed so that the systems stay cool now that they have actual up-to-date components not these shitty dog laptop cpus that they've had on the ps4 and xbox one i'm actually glad that they've they've decided to say wow we need some processing power not this not this weak shit and here we go you know finally finally up to date finally got finally got the power and now we're going to go into the next generation with some goddamn style. Now, can I just start off by saying the first half of that whole PlayStation 5 stream, I'm not going to lie, dude, ha it got me a little turned away. There's a lot of colorful games, a lot of cool looking games, don't get me wrong, like Ratchet and Clank, fine, it was fun to see that. But then they started showing a game with like fucking strawberries and like, well, I mean, if you're into the strawberry game, hey, don't let me knock you fucking down, but uh... I, I ain't gonna lie, Muda, Muda was, I was, uh, I, it felt like Ambien was hitting my system, let me tell you, I was getting a little bit bored, and then, uh, finally, they started showing some of the real fucking heavy hitters, so, let me just get this started off, uh, Demon Souls is getting remade, alright, fucking Demon Souls is getting remade, and it looks pretty damn awesome, Resident Evil 8 Village looks pretty damn sweet. They're going back to the first person. I mean, the game looks nice, okay? I mean, it looks on par with Resident Evil 2 and shit, but it looks great. It looks like a fucking good time. And it looks like they've got the supernatural shit going for it. I'm excited. GTA 4, uh, GTA 5. I wish GTA 4. GTA 5 is being re-released on PS5. Awesome! Doesn't look any fucking different at all than the PS4 version, so... I guess it might just be a slight update. Rockstar... Rockstar's still making a killing through GTA Online, so fuck, why not... Why not release it on PS5 as well? And, uh, yeah, other than that, the, the, the games... The games were pretty damn sweet. Ghostwire Tokyo looked... Looked kind of cool. You know, I definitely will fuck with that when it comes out. And can we just talk about Horizon Zero Dawn 2? One of the best looking games ever. There was another project game. I, I'm, I'm completely forgetting the name of it right now, but that also looked really good. But Horizon Zero Dawn 2. You know, if you don't recall, Muda loves Horizon Zero Dawn. The game got fucking snubbed when it came to awards. That game is one of my favorite games this generation. And I'm so glad Horizon Zero Dawn 2. I mean, I knew it was coming out, but I mean, god damn, it looks gorgeous. Spider-Man also looks pretty damn good. Spider-Man 2. I mean, all the, all the games from Sony are looking pretty killer you know their exclusive library is without a doubt the strongest suit that they have and i'm glad that they were showing it off with fucking bravado and that's 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 just where i come down to you know i might even fuck with gran turismo when it comes out on ps5 because that also looked gorgeous as well now graphically the systems while they do look good haven't completely like blown me away like they haven't just you know set me on another level uh maybe that's because i'm a pc gamer i sort of notice you know higher end graphics on a, on a fucking daily basis with most of these games so i don't really tend to see a, a shit ton of increase i mean they all look good don't get me wrong but they haven't like completely blown 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 me away and i guess it's to be expected you know the further you move along in graphics technology i mean higher resolutions will only uh, start to impact you, uh, you know, little by little as time goes on. You know, law of diminishing returns and all that shit. So even if you hate me, you learn something, right? All in all, I gotta say, the games are nice. The system looks damn nice. I actually wish we got to see some of the console, like, uh, the UI. Like, we actually got to see it booting up in some of the main menu. I'm a real sucker for that kind of shit. So if we saw that, that would have made my day. I would have actually busted a nut, no lie. But it is what it is. Now, the price wasn't revealed, but don't get me wrong, this thing's probably gonna be like 500 bucks. Like, if it's as powerful as they say, $500 seems like a sweet spot for them to be hitting. I don't know if they're gonna hit it any higher than that, just because, bro, the the, the economy right now isn't, not, isn't looking so good, okay? So people don't have a lot of uh, disposable fucking income, Sony, so you better take 
temper your expectations. No one wants another PS3 launch price, do we? Now, the big thing for me was backwards compatibility. And none of this got announced, none of this got showcased, and it's one of the damning things that I have. So, if you don't know, I'm a huge sucker for backwards compatibility, right? Like, Xbox, on point with that shit. They, they definitely want to preserve their older game library. But Sony has, like, the biggest fucking game library, at least for me. Like, I've grown up with PlayStation, I'm a PlayStation guy. So, every generation, I have a, a, a gem of a game that I play in every year as time goes on. And backwards compatibility was a huge deal. PS4 backwards compatibility is garbage, okay? It does not have PS1. PS2 is run by re-releases from Sony. Uh, unless you hack a PS4, which I have a video coming out for that, PS2 backwards compatibility is, is, is dog. PS3 backwards compatibility doesn't even exist. So, when PS5 comes out, obviously it's going to have PS4 backwards compatibility. There's no way it can. Like, guys, architecturally, it should not be able... It should. There should be no excuse. Every PS4 game cannot just run on PS5. It just doesn't make any sense to me, personally. PS3 is sort of like the, 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 the elephant in the room. Now, PS3 compatibility... PS3 emulation on PC is happening. Of course, you need really high-end components to do it. But because Sony has intimate knowledge of the PS3 cell processor, it it doesn't strike me as nearly impossible for them to sit down and make a pretty competent software emulator for the PS5. So PS3 backwards compatibility should be there. Listen, MGS4, bro, that needs to be preserved, okay? The only way you can play that game is a PS3 or a really good PC. PS5 should bridge the gap and allow us to play our PS3 games. You know, even if we have to stick our disc in and download like the Xbox, it's better than nothing. PS2, no reason why PS5 can't emulate PS2. PS2 should just easily be a giveaway for PS5 backwards compatibility. PS1, don't even get me started on PS1 backwards compatibility. That shit should be fucking easy. They shouldn't even be... Dude, they should be able to emulate the PS1 and get rid of all the uh, all the, all the the texture warping that happened back in the day. So yeah, backwards compatibility can totally happen. And I hope Sony... Uh, so Sony definitely, like, brings the heat on that one, because that's literally the only thing that I've had an issue with. Now, the best part about this whole system was the fact that it came with a Blu-ray drive, which shows me that, at least for now, discs are still gonna be a massive thing. Look, I'm a huge disc guy, okay? Like, if I showed you my PS4 disc library, it stands taller than me, and I'm six foot two, and I love owning the physical discs. If physical discs were to be gone from PS5 and Xbox Series X, I, I wouldn't even care about these fucking consoles to begin with. The strongest thing that these consoles have is the fact that they come with physical drives. So I'm glad to see PS5 actually having a physical drive to it, meaning that I can buy my games from the store and own them physically and never hopefully have to connect to the internet to even play them. I can just stick the disc in, let it install, and call it a day. So I'm actually super happy that they have done that, and that that really seals the deal for me. Again, how practical is it going to be when the game sizers are so fucking big that uh, nowadays, at least towards the end of the PS4, we need two disc like copies, like two Blu-ray discs. Like it's kind of fucking insane. Last of Us Two comes out next week, right? And it's coming out on two discs, I believe. So it's like a 73 gig game. And of course, as 4K becomes the norm, and like these systems become that much more powerful how much actual texture memory is going to be, you know, sort of inflated because of that. I mean, these games are going to have to go from, like, 70 gigs to, like, minimum, like, 200 gigs at some point. I mean, Call of Duty right now, Modern Warfare, if you add the whole thing up, is, like, 180 gigs, guys. So, it's going to be interesting to see how hard drive space is going to have to be improved because, bro, a terabyte isn't going to cut it anymore. A terabyte, with the, with the way games are now probably gonna store like four or five fucking games at maximum you know what i mean so that's gonna have to be discussed i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of things to go on i mean the reveal was nice it showed some cool games definitely told us that yes we have a rough time frame of when to expect ps5 and i'm sure in the next couple months we're gonna get more information more things solidified but all in all guys i gotta say playstation 5 has come across as a pretty strong contender going forward. And can I just end this video off by saying that both Xbox and PlayStation have fucking brought the heat? Can we just say that? Like, even as a PC gamer right over here and basically playing a lot of my games on PC, I love consoles for the fact that they are simple. Stick a disc in, call it a day. And 
beginning of this generation, PS4 absolutely fucking curb stomped Xbox One just because of how terrible Microsoft had its policies. But can we just can we just say for the for the record, whether you're a PlayStation person like me or an Xbox person, you both have good fucking consoles. Like, let's be real. Xbox has got some good, solid, like, Japanese control at this point. Like, Yakuza is apparently a launch title for them. They've got some good, exclusive, like, uh, 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 studios working for them at this point. So, you know, it looks like a pretty strong contender on both sides. They both have pros and cons, and, and the race has never gotten closer. I gotta say, all things considered, it seems next generation going forward, everyone has a place. And that's sort of the best part about it. So whether you're an Xbox guy or a PlayStation guy, holy shit, do you have a good time going forward, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. That is the greatest aspect of it. So yeah, I, I've been actually really happy. And in, in, a, in a year of shitty news, gaming has sort of given us the, the, the what, what would I say, the best, uh, what is it, distraction? And, and God bless that both these systems are serving to be some really fucking stellar distractions. All that's left is the pricing, and that's going to be the interesting fucking death knell of these systems. You can't price them too high with the worry the world's going, but you also obviously can't price them too low. So it's going to be interesting seeing how they go forward with it, but as far as the initial reveals go, pretty damn awesome. Pretty damn good. So yeah, let me know what you think about the PS5 uh, in the comment section below. And please refrain from a console war. Like, we're actually fucking adults here, uh, I would hope. So if you're going to have, like, this fucking jihadi, like, like viewpoint of which plastic box is better, keep that shit away. I might actually make a separate video on the troglodytes that are console warriors, but that'll be another video for now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it. If you dislike it, this is me, Mudahar, and I am out.